Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40 and we have a wonderful port coming towards our device that is the OnePlus 8T based Open Beta 7 based on Android 11 Oxygen OS and today we are going to install it. There is only one bug that is face unlock and I will then use it till tomorrow morning, give you guys a first impression video and later maybe a gaming review and a complete review. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so we have Oxygen OS for 11X and this is what most of us have been waiting for. Brand OnePlus Model 8T, it has a 865 and this is a bigger or elder cousin 870. Android version 11, build ID open beta 7, build date 14th of August 2021. Security patch July 1, 2021. Initial build for Mi 11X and face unlock is the bug. Credit to Oof Gang, these guys are magicians. They are doing amazing stuff. If you can support them, please go to this particular link and support them for their amazing, amazing work. Build is for me 11X, don't flash on Poco X3 Pro. Now, in today's video, we're quickly going to see how to flash this particular ROM. And there are a few basic things that you need to take care of whenever you flash a new ROM. So right now, I'm on Xiaomi.eu and you do see that it's backing up all my data. I've already backed up my WhatsApp. And remember, you should be on more than 50% battery when you're doing this. Ignore that my phone is at 30%. I do take risks with my device. I would not at all recommend you guys to do this or flash any ROM below 50% just to be on a safer side, right? Now, make sure all your data on your phone is backed up because you will lose everything on your internal storage. Now, moving on, if you go to settings, you will have to first remove your MI account and all the Google accounts and the lock screen passwords and security. So if you have a fingerprint lock enabled, go to screen lock, enter your pattern or password, turn off screen lock. It will also go ahead and remove your screen lock. So your fingerprints and everything else is taken care of. Apart from this, you need to make sure that the data is backed up, as I said early, and your phone should be more than 50% battery. You should have an unlocked bootloader. You should have TWRP installed and you need to pay special attention to that particular tick mark which says inject TWRP after install. There are two files that we will need. We will need the firmware that is 12.5.2 and we will need the ROM file. Once you've downloaded everything, if you're downloading it on your PC, copy it to your phone's internal memory. If you're downloading it directly to your phone, it will be in the downloads folder of your phone. Now, once everything is done, press and hold the volume button, select reboot, press volume up and power to enter TWRP. Release the buttons when you see the Mi logo. All right, now once you're booted into TWRP, this is where you need to pay attention. There is a specific version of TWRP that you need to use, which is mentioned in the description, right? And whenever you're installing something, you should get that option of inject TWRP after install. And in this case, you know, I'm using a OTG pen drive. That's where I've copied the file. So we will quickly go to mount and select USB OTG, there you go, it's mounted. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data and internal storage. Don't wipe internal storage for you if you have the files in there. I don't have the files on internal storage, so I'm just going ahead and wiping it. You're getting all these errors, ignore them. Go to install, select the location of your files, right? The first thing that you will flash is the firmware, right? Uncheck this option, inject TWRP after install. It'll take about 15 to 20 seconds to flash this. Okay, ignore these errors once again. Now go to install and select the OnePlus 8 Beta 7 Oxygen OS zip and select inject TWRP after install. So I have to confirm flash. Now remember, this is a three gigabyte port. So it will take some time to flash. So please be patient while that happens. And as I said earlier, Mi 11X is a Project Treble device which has A and B partitions. 
that is the reason it is a little different to flash roms on this particular device compared to say your poco x3 pro or the redmi k20 pro so please pay attention to the installation steps all right now once the flash is done you need to ignore all these errors go to wipe format data and type in yes As you can see, format is done. Now go to reboot, select slot A, right? Even if the current slot is A, just select slot A and hit reboot system. Now the first boot will take 30 to 45 seconds or even a minute because this is a port from a OnePlus device. So please be patient while the first boot happens. There you go, you have the Oxygen OS logo. All right, so we are on the hello screen. We have reached the boot screen. That means the ROM install was absolutely fine. Let's quickly skip the setup part. All right, so just like that, as you can see over here, we have this particular port that is working absolutely fine. I've not done many changes to that. So there will be a first impressions video coming really, really soon. And it looks really, really great and promising to have this on a Mi 11X or a Redmi K40. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.